guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of all zodiac signs for the new moon in Cancer. So what I'm going to do is pull from Moonology Manifestation Oracle, give you my thoughts on what messages come through. Then I have my notes in front of me so I can go through this powerful lunation. And then I'll jump into tarot. It is time stamped for your convenience. Okay. So here we go, Moonology Manifestation, what messages are coming through for us, for the collective, for the new moon in Cancer. Pulling from the bottom, yes, trust all will be well. I love that's a new moon card. Another new moon card, it's the new moon in Cancer, relax. Okay, so where we've been, where we are, where we're headed. Um, a first quarter moon, assess the situation. So um, almost as if we are in an assessment process, which feels about right. First, we have to come from that deep reservoir of trust. This message has been coming through in some of the more recent readings, right? Just a general trust that all will be well. Release fear of the unknown. Um, the new moon in Cancer invites us to relax, to sort of recharge, and I'm gonna go into that in detail, and then um, assess the situation from that perspective of feeling a set, uh, like no stress, right? So this is a no drama mama kind of an energy coming through. Trust, relax, and then assess from that point of view. So really perfect messages um for all of us at this moment so the new moon in cancer will be exact at 7 57 p.m eastern time tonight on the 5th um so that'll be earlier on the west coast it'll be after midnight across the pond and other points on the 6th um cancer is the mansion where we pull back from the demands of the outside world right we got to relax a little bit and attend to the needs of our inner life uh, we move toward rest restoration relaxation in the sign of cancer it's the sign of the home family and preparation needed to meet life in the outside world which is what capricorn rules so Cancer and Capricorn are opposite each other. That is the polarity, fourth house to the 10th house, inner life, outer life, home life, work life, if that makes sense. That's the dynamic we're working with. Um, so this is the put your oxygen mask on first um, kind of illumination. And we have to increase our inner resolve to know what we need and then meet those needs for ourselves. It's like be your own mommy um it's also interesting that it's sandwiched between two capricorn full moons which doesn't happen very often so we already had one two weeks ago um and that's we we enter this lunar cycle already halfway through that process of releasing deeply held limits and attachments to wounds of the past and that is the message that came through um, not only in the full moon reading that I did for Capricorn, two, well, two weeks ago, and the July 2024 monthly energy update, the Love Tower energy update. There are themes about wounds of the past. So we're kind of smack in between it now. Um, uh, here we go now. I'm gonna say something kind of take a little segue I don't really want to get ahead of myself here but the full moon in Capricorn that comes two weeks from now is gonna pack a punch um, it's the second in a row so that counts it's the final mastery degree it's kind of coming in at 29 degrees of the sign and so that's powerful and it is also going to be exactly conjunct and remember conjunct is when the planets are at the same point it is exactly exactly conjunct pluto which is the lord of the underworld and the great destroyer so which brings death and rebirth and that counts a lot a lot so I will obviously do a full moon in Capricorn 
Redux reading um, in two weeks, but I'm giving you the heads up now that this lunation is really important. Set some intentions for yourself. This is that kind of a new moon, like your inner landscape, um, your inner needs. So cancer, again, where we consider home, family, privacy, all the behind the scenes aspects of life and consciousness, cancer sort of serving as our root chakra in that way. Um, it's about what we need to thrive and survive. And it reminds us that there's no accomplishment out there in the world uh, unless you're well cared for at home. And I'm using um, home sort of more metaphorical than literal from my perspective. Um, because I, you know, if you are comfortable in your home, that's great. Not all of us are. But if you are, then you got to take it a level deeper. So if you're feeling secure, if your home is, you know, meeting your needs, you're not suffering, um, then you got to go a level deeper to the home within, if that makes sense. So, hello. Um, and uh, this new moon deepens our relationship to the dynamic between the demands of the outside world and, and how we get our needs met first um, in the home, in the home within. Okay? So like I said, it can be your literal home, but it's also metaphorical reflecting an inner sense of security, um, especially in our private spaces, such that we can meet our public spaces head on. If you feel vulnerable and unsafe in your private spaces, you're already up against the wall. Um, so focus on you and your safety and your security. And I don't mean safety from threat of harm, I mean emotional safety. So this is where we also create a work balance, work-life balance, setting intentions to put self-care first. And I'm gonna stick a pin in it for a minute for you. Remember the queen of pentacles is aligned with, she's associated with a sign of Capricorn. And you often hear me hold her up and say, uh, this is coming through as some self-care. You know, she is a feminine archetype of a life partner, uh, right? And taking care of the home kind of a thing. Got everything at home locked down and stable. And she's dependable and reliable and all that. But because she puts her needs first. So why would I say that about Capricorn when that's really a Cancerian construct? Because it's part of the polarity. Okay? So think of the Queen of Pentacles right now. You need that. Um, uh, and it will be helpful to know wh what house in your natal chart uh, is ruled by cancer. It could be split for some of you um, because that area or those areas of life will also be impacted by this new moon with regard to a sense of security, emotional or otherwise. Um, so you want to set some intentions that will um ask you to let some things go as you climb the mountain of your desires and the weeks ahead will be bring lots of deep and profound changes uh this new moon is forming a t-square with the nodes of fate the north and south node of the moon are known as the nodes of fate a t-square means 90 degree angle from the moon to one node and then another 90 degree angle to the south node um and this is important because it's, an, it's a geometry of some conflict and obstacle um, that's designed to, in one way, help us move forward, North Node, but also sets us up to release the past that's in our way, South Node. So that's why I'm saying focus on you right now. Um, and uh, yeah, we have to release the past as aggressively as we lurch toward the future. Uh, it's a very fated, F-A-T-E-D, lunar cycle as a result of this T-square hitting the nodes, you know, the nodes of the moon. So you want to dig deep into your private spaces, find the most vulnerable aspect of your life that needs special consideration and care, and then set some intentions that, to amplify your commitment to that um, to put your needs above the needs of others for now, okay?
So that's what I have for you. It was a lot. I get it, but powerful messages. I needed notes. <laughs> it's a lot. I don't remember these things, so I hope that uh, what I did share was valuable to you. Um, I loved, I just saw in the split the Four of Swords, so that makes sense. Um, what I'm going to do is jump in, pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll go back through with the clarifiers for the details. And of course, as always, the extended will go through all of the zodiac signs, Aries through Pisces, small little um, spreads to personalize it on a deeper level. The um, link to that is below. If you're in any of the memberships for the individual zodiac signs or the all access pass you already have the extended to this reading okay that's a part of your membership here we go yeah it's about this is the dominant energy for this reading is the sun the sun and the moon are together when we have a new moon um, so the sun in cancer, the new moon in cancer, it is about feeling safe and protected in our vulnerability. What's crossing us though? Knight of Wands. So in this sense, it feels to me like the Knight of Wands may be speaking to some in and out aspect, something that doesn't feel per like it's there to stay. Let's see, King of Pentacles in your unconscious awareness. You want someone that shows up and stays, not the in and out variety. Um, so what's happening here for this new moon is where we may not be feeling safe and protected in our vulnerability is that we're not feeling the stability coming from the other side of the connection. We want it. We may not be feeling it. In the past, Queen of Wands, Wow, so now we have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Um, Queen of Wands is sort of coming from, look at this, Aries, Queen of Wands, Aries, Emperor. Powerful energy dynamics here. Um, Emperor in your conscious awareness. So this is, a we're, we're sort of focused on divine masculine energy. I think in the past, I'll double check with the clarifiers. Um, there may be something that is sort of like a battle of wills. Um, has been creeping up to of wands in the near future is choosing that path forward determining what you want in the world of possibilities so you know what you're going after spirits message eight of cups yep hidden energy ten of swords and the outcome chariot moving forward making progress so i have a feeling um spirits talking to you about moving toward that sun right like what part of your path and your journey Bring, and notice the sun references. I see it here in the window for the two of wands. We open with the sun. We've got spirit here talking to us about, you know, leaving behind what no longer serves us and moving toward our happiness. Um, so it's sort of, to me, as not necessarily a walking away from a person or connection, but walking away for the, from the aspects of it that don't feel stable, that don't feel dependable like that we can rely on them for your person the hidden energy ten of swords some kind of painful ending they're coming to terms with or they may be seeing something as as being done um, but in the outcome position with the chariot we're either moving forward moving on um, on our own or making progress in a connection that may have hit some nasty bumps. So let's check the clarifiers. The sun and the knight of wands. Ten of cups, the death card, temperance. Do you feel like you're hitting a growth spurt here? Um, I, I am seeing the death card, which is a card of death and rebirth, of course. It's associated with Scorpio in the eighth house, but it's also about growth, change, and transformation. And since there's a focus on our happiness and something that we want to stay, to be supportive, to be a partner, 
yeah, sometimes we have to kind of go with the flow a little bit. Um, but as long as we're on a growth path and, and we're looking for signs of transformation, meaning if you communicate what needs to change and change begins to happen. And when I say what needs to change, not in a um, ultimatum sort of way, but just sort of a, well, I know within myself what I need and now I'm going to communicate that. And then it's in their hands. And you'll be able to tell from their actions, correct, whether or not that change is occurring. So that's how I'm seeing the death card um, as a signal. So let's look at the King of Pentacles in your unconscious awareness. Oh my. So. With this stability and someone who shows up for us and someone who's walking a, a life path with us, we also want a little romance, some emotional availability and vulnerability. The Knight of Cups to me is the one that shows up with like a dozen roses, out of, you know, and just sort of a mushy card and something that lets you see their softer side while still knowing you can really lean up against them and depend upon them. That would be a sign of progress moving forward, King of Swords underneath, perhaps on some level. Um, you're wondering if it's part of, part of a plan for this person. The King of Swords coming through is honorable, honest, truthful, and a little strategic. So in your unconscious awareness, you're focused on, you know, what's the plan? What's, this, what's the plan for this person what, you know, on their end? Um, and what will be the signs of change that tell you your, where you belong and that everything's on terra firma, solid ground, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that you can move forward. Queen of Wands in the past. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups again. There's, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a signal to, uh, for some of you that there's been a walking away already because we have the 10 of swords for your person, the hidden energy. Now we have the eight of cups in the past and that's what spirit is bringing your attention to. And it feels like you really stayed positive and patient in the past for some form of coming back together or reconciliation if that was needed. I'm not feeling that there's been a blowout here, but I'm definitely feeling there's been some sort of a, a, a desire to kind of, to just be with this person. And yet there's a sign of the in and out of it all, if that makes sense. So not that there's a problem between you necessarily, but that you're not together in physical space together. Um, and so trying to stay optimistic and positive and will it to be so, but it feels like there's a come and go kind of an energy about your connection that could be on and off. That can be in and out. That can be, you know, when can we be together again? Because you're at some distance from each other. So please, as a general reading, you need to take it as it resonates for you. Emperor in your conscious awareness, all about the divine masculine. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So you're not sure right now if you're both on the same page. If there's, you know, some form of a strong basis upon which you can build a solid future. It feels like a basis, not just of friendship, but of cooperation, co-creation. And you're up in the air. I, I really don't think you know what you're dealing with. And that's another message that has been coming through in the readings and the five of cups underneath is the past and remember part of this um, lunation is a powerful t-square to the north and south node so while the chariot is that north node the progress and the forward motion and moving forward this is pull what's pulling you back so it is about assessing the past for what it has been and then setting your sights on what you need to feel safe and protected in your vulnerability with this person. That's your inner landscape. 
it's emotional. So let's see the two of wands in the near future, nine of pentacles, three of wands, knight of pentacles. I love having the two and the three together, the two of wands and the three of wands, and you're kind of coming in here all about the law of attraction. So the nine of pentacles is exact. It, it first of all is Virgo energy. So I, I kind of like that because Virgo can be about self care. So there is the two of wands, the determining the path forward. What do I need to set it first? What do I want? What do I need? Right? Second, what do I need to set in motion so that what I'm setting an intention around about arrives and the three of wands is it arriving. So it's a little extra added manifestation tool for you. And underneath is the Knight of Pentacles, which is whatever's arriving. I want it to stay. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles moves slowly, very methodically, but with conscious intention. It's more Virgo energy, actually with beginning with the end in mind, you want this person, um, you know, whatever's arriving for the two of you, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are the Knight of Pentacles, but that the action that's being taken is deliberate and intentional and rooted here in 3D uh, with the staying power because the Knight of Wands is the challenge, right? That's what we're struggling up against. You know, the, the heat and the passion is wonderful, but it all flames out. Eventually, you kind of got to come from King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles with that energy of, can I count on this? And we're sandwiched in between the two full moons in Capricorn. So think of that Queen of Pentacles. She's solid as a rock. So it, there is this focus on stability and staying power. Let's see what Spirit's message is about the Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Seven of Wands. I do feel part of the message here from Spirit is if you're meeting, if, if you're bumping up against some, some resistance, either within yourself or with this person, you got to get curious about that. It, it's, it's, the conversation needs to get at the truth of what the resistance is, because right now it's kind of lingering beneath the surface, but it will help you determine what it is you're moving toward, what it is you're walking toward, where it is that that sun is for you, your true north, so to speak. So yeah, conversation, but there's specific information you're looking for, and it seems to be like, what's, what's the pushback? Where's the resistance? Where's the defensiveness coming from? What's that about? So not that you bring that up exactly that way in conversation, but that that is um, Page of Swords, what, you know, the, the detective of the tarot. That's what you're trying to get at, is where's this defensiveness coming from? So you're listening for that. Your person, Ten of Swords in the Hidden Energy, The world, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Cannot make it up. I'm going to pull for the chariot first. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Uh, I did that for a reason. Sometimes I'm like, okay, tell me more. And so going forward before I open my mouth helps. Um, yeah. Your person wants a future with you. They know they can depend upon you. I'm smiling like, right? Oh my God, it feels so good to see this. It's what I'm trying to be taught. I've been talking about here, the future, the, the life you want to build. They want to build it too. the world card. Okay, can we release this difficult, painful cycle? Lessons have been learned. The world card is Saturn. Saturn rules Capricorn. Yeah, so it's sort of this person in the hidden energy that Ten of Swords is like, oh, I see right in front of me this, you know, very painful conclusion of something, and I don't want that. I want the next cycle. I want to now begin 
with the end in mind, Knight of Pentacles moving forward toward a beautiful future, an abundant future, a life I build with you. That's what they're saying. That's what this emperor is saying. So what, whatever had happened um, feels like the message broke through. And this is someone who maybe even unbeknownst to you is really processing the option of finality versus the future. Damn. See what I mean about Ten of Cups and the Death card? Finality versus the future. Chariot is in the outcome position. What are we moving forward? We're going to make progress. You're damn straight we are. We're going to clean up any misunderstandings. Lots of fast. If there's been any tension, we're sorting it out. We're getting past it triumphantly, victoriously together. Five of Pentacles underneath kind of coming through reversed. Right, we're moving beyond that feeling discarded, devalued, uh, you know, disavowed. We're we're moving past that. We're getting past the instabilities and insecurities and the sense of abandonment or where we're not safe because there's no there's no predictability. Wow. Okay, guys, uh, pull this. And now I feel like everything I said, I, it's like, I want to go back and hear what I just said about this new moon, because it's spot on, spot on. And a reminder of the Oracle, trust all will be well, check, relax. This is a big one. So you may want to do a lot of smudging for this new moon. You may want to do some meditation, like put headphones in. <laughs> I mean, Epsom salt bath with lavender and, you know, rosemary or what thyme or whatever you got. Herbs, just get in the bath. Definitely. And then come through it relaxed, comforted, feeling safe in your inner landscape and assess the situation because things are, uh, are shifting for the better, for the long haul. And I get the impression that's where most of you are, what most of you are thinking about. Is this sustainable for the long term? So that is what I have for you for now. Uh, I'm going to definitely head to the extended, but first let me give you the astrology. If you have enjoyed this reading, uh, keep putting out the call to subscribe below. And once you've su subscribed, you, you know, if you haven't already become aware of this, there's a little notification bell. Click that. And my reading should pop up in your feed. I read pretty much every darn day. So if you haven't been seeing them, there's, there's a, a problem. Now, I have been informed that not everybody who subscribed and clicks the notification bell gets notified. Well, that doesn't make sense, but okay. So if you're not getting the notifications, the easiest thing to do is either log out of your YouTube account, and log back in, and then un unnotify and re-notify. You know how like a reboot or just cancel out of your app. You know how you can delete the app and then upload it and it will sort of reboot the app. Sometimes we get a lot of gunk built up running behind the scenes over time from all our activity on an app. That's true with Facebook, with Instagram, with all of the platforms, YouTube as well. So just do those things and see if it doesn't help. And I thank you all for your support. Second half of June really helped me. You all helped me so much. I'm so very grateful. So this new moon, I am sending you all so much love, so many blessings. Take care of you now. Y'all came through for me and it is not lost on me. I appreciate it more than you know. So here we go. We have the sun is the sun <laughs> rules Leo. Knight of Wands is Sagittarian energy. Death card is Scorpio. Temperance is Sagittarius as well, but it's like the higher octave. Knight of Pentacles is Taurus, nice and dependable. Um, Knight of Cups is Pisces. The uh, Chariot is here twice. That's Cancerian energy. It's a Cancer New Moon, so I'm happy with that. The Swords, King of Swords is Aquarian energy. Queen of Wands, as I said, is Aries, as is the Emperor. So we have a lot of fire. Uh, the New Moon in Cancer. Cancer is a cardinal sign, as is Aries. So it's very startup energy, like let's get some shit moving here. 
um nine of pentacles some virgo energy same with the knight of pentacles virgo energy uh page of swords gemini libra aquarius the world as i said is saturn aquarius and capricorn it used to rule aquarius so that counts classical astrology more capricorn in our queen of pentacles and the knight of swords is gemini Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is, is in the mix with this lunation too. So there could be some um, opportunities for that communication where you get at the root of the resistance and defensiveness. That's what I have for you. I'm headed to the extended now. If you want to see how it speaks to your individual sign for sun, moon, rising, Venus, you and your person, I'm headed there right now.